Celebrations on the streets of Algiers following the resignation of Tai Belize. He quit as chairman of Algeria's powerful constitutional council, the country's highest judicial body which oversees presidential and parliamentary elections. To millions of protesters, he represented an establishment that is corrupt and ineffective. He was an ally of former President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, who himself stepped down earlier this month after Algerians demanded his 20-year rule end. But Belize's decision to quit is unlikely to quell the two-month-long protests. Algerians want a revamp of the entire political establishment. This is a significant resignation, but I, at the same time, I don't think it's enough uh, to satisfy the demands of the protesters who really want uh, a genuine transition that's, that's led by an independent figures. Following Belize's resignation, Algeria's army chief, Gaid Salah, said the military is looking at all options to find a solution to end the crisis. I'd like to reconfirm that all perspectives are available in order to overcome all the difficulties as soon as possible for the sake of the nation's supreme interests, regardless of personal interests. On the streets, the discontent continues. The same protesters who wanted Bouteflika out are unhappy with the appointment by Parliament last week of Abdul Qadir bin Salah as interim president. The protesters would want Obviously, this, uh, the new president of the Constitution Council uh, uh, in place, then Ben Salah would resign, that this new person would take over. Then the third B, which, which is an ordin Bedoui, the uh, prime minister and his government to go. The new president will nominate a new uh, prime minister and this new prime minister will form a technocratic government. Algerians are concerned the old guard may be manoeuvring to maintain its influence. They say they're determined to continue pushing for real change. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.